<sighs> I stand behind everything I said the last time we had this meeting, and I'm not going to repeat it, okay? So Got don't it. worry about that. We've got it in writing. Yes. Um, I want to mention, name and I'm sorry, Stephen LeBranch, 469 Ocean Boulevard. I just want to mention a couple of things that um, weren't talked about the last time, and it's it, interesting that I agree with everything that uh, the citizen just said. Citizen Jones, I agree, happen to agree with everything he just said. Um, but one thing that hasn't been talked about, I brought this up when, when uh, Chris Sununu was at the, uh, at the pavilion, and that is that you have a, uh, the DOT should be very aware that they have a road um, they have a they have a wall problem it's not so much um, the traffic thing I told you before I don't believe there is a traffic problem but there is a problem with that wall and I um, I remember talking to the uh, town manager about a year ago and I said you know at some point uh, Fred they're gonna have to add another couple of feet to that wall and that was done about, I'm going to say about 17 years ago, perhaps. They added about 18 inches to the wall in front of my house, from Boar's Head down to approximately where the Atlantic Hotel is, basically where the water, the water splashes over. And at the time when they added that 18 inches, I thought, why are they doing that? Mm -hmm. There doesn't seem to be a problem. Mm -hmm. But it was in anticipation of the, you know, the, of the future. And so now uh, we need to add, for instance, another 18 inches to that wall. And Fred said to me, they can't do that. And I said, why not? He says, take a walk around the wall at low tide and look at it. And I did. And I was quite amazed at what I saw. Now, if you want to see the very worst of it, when you walk around the wall, walk to where Jonathan's hotel is, right there on the ocean side. And you'll see something very interesting because every 50 feet where you have the, uh, you have that taller piece on, along the wall, every 50 feet where that is, there's a vertical crack from the top of the wall right down to the base. And the thing is that at the, the Jonathan's is the worst example. What's happening is that at the very base of the wall, um, the cement has disintegrated, and so you have the, a girder. You have a steel girder that's ex been exposed for years to salt water, and when steel expands, it, when it rusts or corrodes, it expands, so it blows away more of the cement. And so you have quite an interesting problem there, and the most interesting thing I saw was not just the vertical breaks all the way down, which probably could be um, st stress breaks mm -hmm. in, them, in themselves because you, the wall itself has rebar and all of that. But at that point at Jonathan's, there's actually a horizontal uh, crack as well, about six feet up off the, off the footing. And it's on the, ocean, on the, dr on the uh, ocean Boulevard side of right at that exact spot, the sewer and the sidewalk collapsed last summer and they had to do an emergency repair to it, okay? And you can see where the hot top's been replaced, right directly across from Jonathan's uh, hotel. So I think that that's important. The one other thing I wanted to mention is that um, I just wonder, I just wonder how far eight million dollars is going to get us. But and I know I don't I don't need an answer. But I'm just wondering to myself. And I was thinking to myself, you know, if if the state um, redid the sidewalks from the bridge all the way up to High Street and as well took care of the drainage, I think that you would put smiles on a lot of people's faces that are taxpayers in the town of Hampton that would very much like to see that because the sidewalks on both sides of the street have deteriorated. There is no sidewalk on the, on the west side, basically. It's, it's an absolute, I'm surprised the state hasn't been sued or some, by a handicap, or, you know, some, somebody that just can't go down that, that sidewalk because it's in such terrible shape. But the, the interesting thing is that after this past winter, the sidewalk from Boar's Head South, um, because the water went over and pushed so much, there are several, there are big cracks every so many feet, and they're actually inches wide now. Um, so that sidewalk is not in best repair neither. So anyway if you would consider if you would consider that please i think that that would as i said put some smiles on some of the locals in this probably people in this room <laughs> thank you very much thank you